beautiful little opening right here. You have some options and opportunities, especially where you live, and choices about your domestic life and future. That is for some of you. Okay, so definitely seeing that. You have a strong new beginning for some of you. This is a new journey with an adjustment with your residence adjust and your domestic life. Okay, for some of you, this is like an intervention. Maybe people want to talk to you because they're concerned about you or um, it's like a makeshift intervention. People, Just some people are concerned about you for some reason. I don't know. That is for some of you here. All right. Now, I do see that this is a week of options and plans. Um, this can be... You have some choices. You really need to kind of relax. I do feel some of you could be passive-aggressive. Well, more like your temper. Um, explosive. Or you're expressing yourself in a way that could be... Um, it's like others want to help or want to hear you, but it's the way you express yourself maybe that that bothers them so i i do feel that energy for some of you all right so i do see that it's a lot of like chaotic energy around of course mercury's in retrograde so these issues are common but and i did post a mercury um reading mercury retrograde reading you can find them on my youtube channel you need to i want to say recharge you need to take some time to breathe relax sometimes you need to just you know disassociate yourself take some time for yourself and relax you are offered or there's many opportunities before you. You just have to kind of um, make your dreams real, okay? Um, and not like, um, I want to say, again, this is for some of you. I feel this is the younger Sagittarius that are just kind of like learning lessons. Um, it's like, just dream, don't just say it, do it, okay? Um, for the ones that are evolved and that are mature, you already know better. Okay, you know, and you're just like, um, you may be dealing with these energies. It's like you've been there, done that, you know, so this could be people around you too. All right. You do have people throwing wrenches in your path, okay? So dealing with a toxic situation, I do see that. Now, this could be somebody who really does care about you, but may give you some tough love. Either they're going to address um, issues that you have or they seeing where they want to help you. But at the same time, this could be like the devil's advocate type of advice. Um, you could listen to anything. Of course, you can make your own decisions. But um, this person is teaching you some valuable lessons for some of you. This is like lessons definitely um, showing up here too. Now, you could be dealing with a cancer energy or someone who exhibits those energies. And I do feel here too for some of you. This is a very strong attraction to someone, but it's it's a little bit toxic. Either there's too much um, obsessiveness, possessiveness, um, or you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Maybe somebody comes out, this could be a cancer energy, and says, you know, you are who you hang out with. So you can be hanging out with the wrong type of people. You know what I mean? So there is that kind of energy. Or you, as an evolved Sagittarius, could be actually seeing this and maybe you reassessing it with you or you giving someone else advice. Like I said, there's a difference here of Sagittarius and stages, okay, so to speak, okay? For some of you, you've learned these lessons from the past. You know what retracts you. You know what's your bad habit. So it's very, it's time now to move forward, okay? Um, I'm seeing a lot of the past is coming back or people want to talk about the past and you're not really happy about that. Uh, so I do see that too. So there's this like... Um, I don't know. Some of you could be just like reminiscing the past. Um, definitely seeing something like that too. And I'm seeing that there could be somebody that you're going to maybe meet that you um, or bump into from the past. Someone maybe you grew up with. Could be a sibling or something. And this is in the next maybe couple of weeks. So there is something like needing to wait a little, so to speak. Um, I do see for some of you, there's a lot of interference. This is people... Um, with their opinions or they're telling you what to do. But you, it's a time to reassess. You know who has your best interests at heart and who doesn't. So it's trying to, it's time to get up that hamster wheel, so to speak, too. Um, it's almost like you keep going back and you keep going back to something and you know it's not good. People don't always change. You know, past history is, you know, when people say, um, I am who I am, sometimes believe it. You know, the, you know what I mean? It's some people or some things just don't change. Okay, so you can... Hope it could be idealistic, but they just don't. Some of you are dealing with the past 
this is um, also, maybe some of you are breaking up. It's a make it or break it here, filing for divorce, or there's some kind of a breakup. I do feel also this could be just all of a sudden you're thinking of an ex or an ex is thinking of you. I mean the timing. Um, there is something here that's either wishful thinking or it's just not an idealistic thing either. All right. Now I do see for some of you are just going to separate yourself, shut down communications with um, people who no longer um, serve a purpose here. You're kind of burning some kind of bridges. Okay. Um, you're definitely kind of recovering from something as well. I do see you more analytical. Now, you could be dealing with also a person who is, ooh, this person could come out, say the wrong thing. You're dealing with like, you got a lot of energies around you. This could be like a Libra Virgo energy as well. What didn't kill you only made you stronger. Um, you may be very hard on yourself because maybe you trust someone again, you give someone a chance and they turn out to be the same. You know, there is that kind of back and forth energy. Wow. It's just interesting. 